Welcome back Freedom Savers. We are doing an update on the no rules portfolio. So this is the portfolio where there are no rules. I can invest in whatever I want and do whatever I want in it. I can buy, sell, I can buy low, sell high. I can invest in very risky stocks or I can just make it a very stable long-term investment portfolio. Basically what I'm doing with it is any stocks that I find that are something that may be speculative that I want to invest in as a potential profit in the future that I think will do great in the future. I'm gonna pop in here and try to get a good amount of shares. And if I find there's an opportunity, then I may jump throw those in here, or I may just throw some more ETFs and stuff in here. One thing I did do, and you may have noticed this already, is I moved VOO, the Vanguard S&P 500 uh, ETF, into a, its own pie called ETFs. And this way I'll be able, able to add any other ETFs I want into this pie and into my portfolio. I also added one position to this portfolio and that position is Solaris oil field infrastructure. I'm not sure if you've ever heard of this one. I did some stock screening this weekend and found this company and I liked their fundamentals. I liked their balance sheet and I liked what they're doing. Um, what they do is they put these big uh, silos up at oil drilling sites to hold the propellant, if I'm pronouncing that properly, for fracking purposes. So basically it is the sand substance. It could be either sand or it could be a manufactured type sand that is used in fracking. So once they crack open the ground, they put the sand in there to maintain that and keep that crack open. That's my understanding of it anyway. I went into the company details on this and read all about it and how it works and how they're innovating. This, they have their own patented design for this and it reduces costs for oil fields and it's very unique and innovative and pretty much all the major oil fields are switching to it. So they have a lot of potential to move up in the future on this. And I think this is, a, is basically going to be a great growth stock. On top of that, they do pay a dividend and but the thing is that they've only paid one single dividend so far now they were only four and four years ago so they're a brand new company and they've only paid one dividend um, but they're very innovative in their field and i think that's great and i think that this is a stock that's not known yet and could possibly grow and i can make a good profit off of it so i'm taking a risk on it uh, my goal is to put uh Solaris into my portfolio and get at least 100 shares of it. So we'll see how that goes and we'll see if they continue paying a dividend. And uh, yeah, that's my plans with the, uh, with the no rules portfolio right now. Um, after I get 100 shares of SOI, then I'm planning on investing currently, unless I find something better, I'm planning on investing in Texas Instruments. Uh, Texas Instruments, it, there's some history with me in Texas Instruments from when I was a teenager. So back in the day, and this is gonna show my age, guys. Back in the day, my very first computer was a Commodore VIC-20. It had 3K RAM. Yes, you heard that right, millennials. 3K RAM, not three gig, not none of that. 3K RAM. Anyways, at the same time that the Commodore came out, Texas Instruments came out with their own home computer and it bombed. Commodore destroyed them. And ever since then, Texas Instruments, in, has, in my mind, has always been nothing but a calculator company. They made lots of calculators and business, you know, auditing, uh, like accounting type stuff. And that's all they did. But I looked into the company recently and they're actually making a ton of money from semiconductors as well as their calculators and analog chips and uh, just doing all kinds of stuff that I wasn't aware of. Digital signal processors used in wireless communications and microcontrollers. So they're doing all kinds of stuff. And I looked at their fundamentals and they are rocking it, man. They are doing awesome. So I think Texas Instruments Incorporated is going to be a good investment. Uh, right now though, the price is pretty pricey at 98.59. The PE ratio isn't too bad for the rest of them, but it's still high at 20.9. Um, so I'm waiting on this one. I'm going to get 100 shares of Solaris oil field first. And then I'm going to try to work on Texas Instruments and just put all the money into this one for now until hopefully we can get this up to 100 shares. 
Uh, but of course we're looking at 9,800, you know, about $10,000 to do that. So I'm not sure about that one yet, but we will be pouring money into Texas Instruments after we get Solaris to 100 stocks. And that really shouldn't take too long because Solaris is actually pretty cheap right now at $14.14. .14. So it's only going to take about 1400 bucks to get 100 shares of that. So anyways, that's the plan on this. Let's hop into here. The current value of uh, the no rules portfolio is $261.38. I've only deposited $250, which means I've got a profit of $11.38 so far, or a 4.55% gain. Uh, dividends, we haven't earned any, and we haven't been paid any, of course. Buy activity, I bought VU originally, 100 bucks of it, and then I bought, I threw an extra 100 bucks in here, and got $100 worth of uh, SOI, and then, when my weekly deposit, which was originally $25, but I've increased it to $50. I uh, bought $50 more of SOI there. So yeah, we, uh, unfortunately the sell, it, it does show I sold some uh, of that ETF, uh, VOO. I did not mean to do this. What happened was in order to move a stock from one pie into another pie, you have to actually sell it off and then buy it in the new pie. So when I sold it off and moved it to the other pie, it actually went up in value. So it only moved as much as I told it to buy. And since it went up in value so much, then I had extra. So I ended up selling off the rest of that. So it was only 32 cents of it, so it's not that big of a deal, but it did kind of annoy me. Um, dividend changes, of course there is there's no dividend changes. The VOO hasn't changed theirs, and I just started investing in SOI. So, yearly dividends, uh, of course, is going to be small. Right now, it puts out six dollars and seventy-two cents per year, or fifty-six cents per month, giving me an overall return of two point six nine percent in dividends, which isn't too bad. That does beat the S and P five hundred's average. I've had two investing days. I've invested one hundred fifty dollars, which increased that yearly dividend income by four dollars and forty-eight cents and gave me a yield on cost of 2.99%. Um, overall average for this portfolio is 2.5, so that's not too bad. And the overall average of yield on cost is 2.61, so again, not too bad. So I'm pretty happy with this so far. Um, this is my speculative stock, that's why I've got it in yellow here, and I've got notes um, over here that this is speculative, it's new, and it's only paid one dividend, so I need to keep a close eye on it and see how that, how it does in the near future. So yeah, and nothing really here. You can see my two stocks, Energy and Diversified, which is a VOO. Um, most of my money is going to be in SOI because I'm trying to get 100 shares of that. So yeah, that's the uh, no rules portfolio. We are up 4.55% on this one. I hope you guys have a great weekend. That's all I got for you right now. Have a good one. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, and if you liked the video, hit that like button for me. Um, if you want to hear any specific type of information, anything that you're interested in, you have any questions, just drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know your opinions on this video or any other video I've made. And if you know anyone else that might be interested in this video, please be sure to share it on your social media and share the knowledge. Thanks, guys.